Welcome. In today's tutorial, you will learn about CyberLink Photo Director 12 and its many features that make it a great photo editing program for photo editors, photographers, and pretty much anybody. Whenever you open up Photo Director 12, this is the home screen that will appear. Here you have some tiles for to find inspiration. You can also follow Photo Director app on Instagram. Yeah, these are pretty much mostly inspiration. If you look here, you'll see you could open the program in full mode, which has all the features in regular UI mode, or express mode, where you can make quick edits with the click and go features. Here, if you click on this check box, it will automatically open the program in full mode every time you launch it. For the first part of the tutorial, we'll go in full mode. Later on, we'll take a look at express mode. Now that we have Photo Director open, let's take a look at it. Here on the bottom left, you can see import. If you click on it, you can import photos. Next to it, you have a button for Shutterstock where you can find stock photos for your project. Here are the folders for the photos on your system. On the top here there's another well, smart collection. Here are the folders for the sample photos included in the program which you can see here. If you click on metadata, you can find information about each photo. And you can find tags for them. Or add tags, I meant. You can also add other information about it. Note, I will be using my own photos for this tutorial. I won't be using any stock photos. Now that I've imported my own photos, let's continue. Here is the photo viewer and browser. You can change it to this, which is photo viewer only, or photo browser only. You can also view it, view at full screen. Here is a little monitor icon, which you can use if you have more than one monitor. Here's some info about the photo that's currently on this screen or in the viewer. On the bottom you'll see the other photos I've imported as well. You can pretty much change the layout of this program to fit your needs and how you feel comfortable using it. Here on the bottom you can change this from thumbnail view to list view. You can also label each photo, rotate or click horizontally. You can also add and edit tagged faces in photos. Here is, you can, right now we're only seeing one photo but you can change it to multiple, two or this. Here you can search for your photos. You can also export. You can unlock this thing here. You can also move this panel around if you wanted to. You can also customize the toolbar. And you can change the view. Let's look at 100%. There you go. Here in the top you notice this zoom tool. You can zoom in and out. It, it zooms in pretty far. If you click on this pan tool, the little hand, you can zoom back out. Let's say if you were zoomed in, you can move it around with the pan tool. On the top here on the left, you'll notice this photo director icon. If you click on it, it'll give you information about the program and, in, and what current version you have. Here you have File, Edit, Photo, View, and Help drop-down menus. 
you have undo and redo, you also have preferences and notifications. Below that you have these tabs here. We're currently in the library tab where you can see all the media that you've imported and all the assets for the project. In the adjustment tab you have all these options for changing the color, white balance, tone, HDR effect level, and much more. You have, any, you have so many options for changing the color. And if you hover your mouse over this, the numbers over here change. You also have another tab here that says presets. You can pretty much drag and drop some of these presets into it or effects. You can even download more presets through Cyberlink. You can also add new folders and all that. Create new presets, like usual. Download and reset applied presets. Here you have radio filter, gradient mask, adjustment selection, adjustment brush, red eye removal, spot removal, and crop and straighten tools. Here you also have this soft proofing thing. Basically makes the, white the borders of the image white. If you click guided, you will create a new copy of the photo just for the guided module. I'll go slowly so you can read this. You can adjust the format and quality. You can adjust the format and quality of the new photo in the heading preferences. Here you have all the options, face tools, skin tools. You can pretty much adjust the photo. There's a lot more we can explore which we'll look at later and we'll test every tool here. As you click on edit you have more options. On the right you have all these tools. Select area tool, pen tool, eraser tool, shape tool, and much more. We'll test them out. If you click on create, you can turn the photos you have into a slideshow and add some effects to it. And you can import background music if you wanted to. You can add color boards. If we had turned this into a slideshow, you can click produce and to export it. You can also share it. If you click on print, you can print the photos and you have all the settings for that. Now that we've taken a tour of the program, let's make some changes to my moth photo. This is a Luna moth. Right now I'm just going to see what I can do to the Luna moth to change it and make it look different. Remember I'm not the best at photo editing. Let's continue.
This is the final result that I came up with, just by making a few changes. As I said, I'm not the best photo editor, but I'm still learning. Doesn't look too bad. It honestly didn't take that long to make this, but it took some time to play around with each of the with all the effects. Let me know what you, what you all think about it. In the next video, part two of Cyberlink Photo Director 12, we'll take a look at the express mode for the program and see what we can come up with.